Hello everybody, my name is Avery from Frostbite, and today we are going to be going over teleportation and plain sounds. So let's get started. So first of all, we're going to have to create a location that the plugin can use for, um, yeah, that the plugin can use. So right here under private logger logger we're gonna do um, public location then lo teleport location teleport location equals null you're gonna have to hover over location and import it but I already have so what this mostly basically does is that it creates a new public location named teleport location and it's equal to null and null is null is the same exact thing as nothing but in code terms so now um, if your on command isn't um, already empty uh, empty it but keep in the player player equals player sender and inside there we're going to do if command label dot equals ignore case inside the parentheses and inside the quotes we're gonna do teleport um, press enter then do a open curly brackets and hit enter again and you will have your workspace you can work with now we're gonna wanna make a sub command which is mostly which is basically the second argument for example, if you do slash teleport Avery, then that's the subcommand. Avery is a subcommand. So we're gonna make another. We're gonna make a subcommand. What you're gonna do is you're gonna do if then inside um, parentheses arg then inside brackets zero dot equals ignore case inside the parentheses that it gives you um, put quotation marks and inside the quotation marks put a uh, set and now open that up open that statement up inside there you're gonna do lo teleport location equals player equals location there so you're gonna have a red line under location and that's good because we haven't created what location was so right now we're gonna create it let's do location location equals player dot get location you could just put player dot get location where I put location here but we're gonna be using the player's location for something else so it's a lot easier if we just um, get the player's location before <coughs> so right now we're gonna do uh, this dot send message player and then in the s message part we're gonna put quotations and do you have set the location yeah. So under the sound message, we are now gonna play a sound to indicate that they have um s not selected a location. Yeah, selected a location or set it. That's better words. So we're gonna do player dot play sound. The first argument is going to be the location. So we're gonna do location because that's the player's location. Second argument is the sound. So we're going to do sound dot oh, sound dot hmm what's a good one? Ah, uh, here we go. Um ender dragon death. And then the third uh parameter is for the I think it's the sound the not the volume 
I don't know, actually it is. But I'm going to put one. And then right here is... I th I don't know either. I used to know this stuff, but... I just usually do 10 and 10. I don't know, I put one there. I think one of them's the volume. And one of them is... Uh, I don't know, wait one second. I'll go check it out. So right now, I'm in the player API. And this will really, not the player API, the um, player, yeah, the player API. I don't know why I just took that back. So, what the player API can do is help you find out um, parameters for things and what commands to do. So right now, we're going to do control F, and we're going to try to find uh, play sound. So we're here at play sound, and it's lo you can see the parameters: the location, the sound, the volume, and the pitch. So, what we're gonna do is we had questions on the third and fourth parameter, so that the third parameter is the volume, and the fourth is pitch. So uh, I just figured out a problem without really have to, having to go on bucket forums and asking questions. So I think the bucket API is really helpful to get to know how to move or not move around. It's really good to know how to search in the bucket API. So I'll be showing you it um once in a while when we're when we have a question. <laughs> yeah. Um now let's go back to Eclipse and continue coding so this is the volume and this is the pitch so let's do volume 1 and pitch 10 that sounds good so now after the um, first after the if statement of the subcommand we're going to do else if args inside brackets 0 exit the brackets and do dot equals ignore case inside the equals ignore case parentheses inside the um, quotation marks we're gonna write go now let's open up workspace in this else if statement so now we're gonna want to teleport our player to the lo no before that we're gonna want to check to see if the location is actually set so if it's not, we're going to have to do if location is not equal to null, oh, is not equal to null, then we're going to open the if statement. And we have to change that to teleport location. So if the teleportation is not equal null to null, it's going to do whatever's inside of here. But now we're going to do else. So what ma that basically is doing is that if the teleportation, if the teleport location uh, is equal to null, it's going to do whatever in this else statement. So we're going to do this dot send message player, and the message is going to say, hmm, lo the location is not set. So now back in the if teleport location is not equal to null if statement, we are gonna do player dot teleport. Then inside the uh, parentheses, um, we're gonna write teleport location, and we're gonna close it. So now that we've done that, we've teleported the player to the teleport location so now we're going to send a message doing this dot send message player message and the message will be called will contain you have been teleported and we're going to play a final sound by doing player dot play sound of the player's location so right here we don't need the location twice so we're just going to do player dot dot 
get location. The sound will be sound dot hmm anvil land. The volume will be one, which is the third parameter, and the pitch will be ten, which is the fourth parameter. So now we've done it, made the internal of the command. We're gonna have to go to the plugin dot yml, and I'm gonna copy this YouTube right here, cause it takes a lot less time and copy it twice and instead of YouTube in the first one I'm gonna do uh, tele tell what did I put down teleport and I actually don't need the second one so right there um, we're gonna write the description as uh, teleports you and yeah so now, export your pl that's not my plugin. Export your plugin to wherever you want it to go. I want it to go on my desktop, but I don't want it to be called Hot Potato. I'll call it YouTube Project dot jar. I'm gonna hit enter, and I will drag this into my test server. Let me get to uh uh <laughs> let me get to my home page I'm gonna drag it to my test server which I should open drag and drop it into the plugins folder start the test server open up minecraft now that I'm in what the heck now that I'm in minecraft um and I just started my server up uh I'm gonna do the commands, so let's do slash teleport set. Ooh. And it plays that sound. <laughs> and it says, you have set the location. So now I'm gonna run away from the location and do slash teleport go. And it'll teleport you back to location. Each time you do it, and it'll play that fancy anvil sound. And yeah, that's basically the plugin. Oh, no, no, no. Um, creepers don't like me. So yeah, that's the episode. Um, next episode will be on configurations, I think. And then the episode after that will be on player. No, it will be a project that I'm gonna do with you guys on setting warps. Since this plugin isn't really like warps, that um, once you reload, reload the server into slash teleport go, um, it says your location is not set because the plugin did not save the location anywhere so that's what we're going to be using configuration files for and I'll show you how to do that hmm. I'll show you how to do that in the next video not the next video the video after the next video but thank you for watching um please favorite comment comment rate subscribe just It'll, it'll make my day. And, yeah. I'll see you in the next video. And, bye.